Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. This video is going to be literally hot off the press. I'm going to record it and then upload it straight away because um, I've literally run out of videos now. And uh, <laughs> I have two days before I'm back on holiday and I need to maximize uh, my recording. So, uh, we have a couple of bullets. Nothing... Nothing too fantabulous. Um, what I am going to do before we do anything, though, is because we did unlock the corridor, the original corridor that Jill goes through, the original dog corridor. Um, so we're going to make our way there, but... Ooh, fuck you, dog. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, and relax. Uh, on our way there, we are going to show off uh, some... Of Chris's costumes, actually. Now, uh, Chris did mention um, in the last video, am I going to show them off? Uh, yeah, actually, I totally forgot about it, to be honest. I don't know why. Probably because uh, I was too worried about being eaten alive. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I should have done, really. Because I've seen one of the bonus costumes. I'm assuming Chris only has one bonus costume. Uh, did you all have one or two? I can't remember now. But we're going to go have... Well, technically he's got two bonus costumes because he's wearing his alt costume here. And of course he is wearing... Uh, he has another one in here. So technically there's three costumes for each character in this game. Which I didn't even realise that as a kid, I don't think. Uh, we all had the legends um, of Resident Evil 2. Uh, baked into our brains at that time where there was tons of unlockable costumes and guns and stuff in that game which was good I believe in this one you only get an unlimited rocket launcher uh, which is pretty nice don't get me wrong you know it, it's it's not bad um, but that's kind of it anyway let's have a little look I'm gonna leave that zombie in here he, he can he can tell us if our butt looks big but let's have a little look I don't think you can get Chris to wear Jill's outfit, which is a shame, because that would be funny. It does not fit. Bugger. So here's... Oh, no, Chris does have two, doesn't he? That's like... Oh, there's only one outfit that fits us perfectly. A bit of a weird yeah, graphical glitch there, and considering we're not emulating this. That's quite funny. Hmm. Well, I don't know how the original fat PlayStation 2's emulation worked, actually. I believe it does have all the PS1 guts in it. Um, which they later removed from the slim models, at least uh, after the 5000 series, anyway. So, that's Chris's original outfit, I do believe. Um, the one that you would start off with if you play the vanilla game. Um, with the knife on and all that lot. Correct me if I'm wrong. It has been so long since I've played Chris. And, of course, we have another one. That's a better view of it. Why can't they give us a good... Look at what a tank Chris is, though. Holy shit. Eats boulders for breakfast, literally. Okay, cool. So, hmm, I like the way the, the one we're wearing is actually missing as well. And this is made in heaven. Wait, it does not fit. Really? The Made in Heaven one, does you can't wear that. Oh no, it can hang on. Yeah, because that's just like his sister. Made in Heaven. I actually like that jacket. It's cool. I think um, Claire's red one is better from Code Veronica. That is a, that's a wicked outfit she has in Code V. I'm very happy with that. Man, why aren't they remaking Code V? Why are they remaking Resident Evil 4? There we go. That's it. That's what we want. Made in Heaven. Um, yeah, they're, they're remaking Resident Evil 4. Why? Resident Evil 4 is still a perfectly playable game. Um, and Code Veronica badly needs a remake. Because it's the black sheep of the series. A lot of people haven't played Code Veronica. Fucking everybody's played 4. Everybody and their grandmother has played 4. 
four is like a product of its time you know and i i've downloaded it because if i ever get to a thousand subscribers i was going to redo it um as like a brucey bonus but we're gonna eventually get to it anyway because we're gonna redo all the resident evils but why why do four how many times have they re-released four how many times it's on everything my fucking toaster could probably play resident evil 4 and it's not even a smart toaster it's just a normal fucking toaster cooks bread or something i don't know i've heard the legends but that can probably play resident evil 4 so ah uh, come on dog actually we're not gonna oh no 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 kind of need to kill these dogs actually kind of uh, I bought that up. Yeah, we've pissed this up big time. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I mean, at least we can get the heals for free. I really messed this up, though. And the reason I want to do this is because there's one handgun magazine over here. Uh, not sure if that was worth it. I wasn't counting how many shots I fired there. Uh, that might have been stupid. Never mind. Also, now I'm not sick. I need to add um, <clears throat> the endings to all of my videos. My, my outro cards. Whatever you want to call those, those things. End screens, which I hate doing. And I do put it off sometimes, but I've got about... I've got <laughs> a lot to go back and do. Oh, I wish... YouTube would just autoplay playlists better than it does because it's not very good at it. Right, there's a herb there. We'll grab the herb. Um, we can't go into that room yet. No, actually, I think we can. Because we have the armor key. Ooh, was that with a chemical? No, I think you need a small key for that one. No, we need the armor key. Man, I am just dumb. But that's okay. We're not going to go in there yet. No, not yet. In here, I believe, is a small key. I believe there's a small key. And a zombie. There's a magazine. Oh. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I knew there's a freaking zombie in here. Come on. We got very unlucky with that zombie. Uh, he's right in the way as well. So we want the magazine, the eye, but there's something else in here as well for Chris. I'm sure there is. Yes, there's a small key. Thank you. <clears throat> so we can actually go use that in the room where we would have originally got the broken shotgun from. Uh, there was a locked desk in there so we're gonna go use that ammo's look a bit healthier you know it's it's yeah we're getting there we're getting there which is nice uh it's still not perfect you know there's um a little bit to be desired but we have some bullets uh that's the shotgun room which we need the broken shotgun for i want to quickly run in there and run out because oh my oh my oh my please get lucky Come on. Yes, thank you. And again, can we get lucky a second time? Uh, I guess not. I mean, oh, shit. Wait. Oh, okay. I mean, we got lucky a second time, I suppose. That's not too bad. It's quite efficient with the ammo. Come on. Oh, shit. Okay, he's dead. So... Because with Jill, the other zombie was down there. Son of a bitch. Oh, well. Alright, let's go do this one. Uh, cradle to the Grave. Um, picture of a tired middle-aged man. There is a switch below. Will you push it? No. No, goddammit. We want the newborn boy. And I can never remember, like, where these are. There's, like, the newborn boy is there. The toddler is... That one. 
That's a young man. You know, I've got this friend that used to work in a game store, and he has this creepy memory, right? He's a really cool guy. I like the guy. Uh, but he can remember quotes from films that he saw once in 1991. It's uh, like if he does a puzzle once, he he will know it for the rest of his life. I don't know how you can do that. Bold looking old man. We don't want that. We want the tired middle aged man. No. Pretty sure we want the tired middle aged man. Because that was the young man. What was this one? Picture of an infant. We've already done that. No, we haven't, have we? Fuck. Have I fucked this up? I think I've fucked this up. Guys, I fucked it up, guys. Ah, Chris, you jackass. Well, at least there's no zombies in this room. And I'm medicating myself with an energy drink called Warrior, which is probably filled with uranium, considering you get four cans of it for the price of one can of Monster. <laughs> Less, actually. Only comes in four packs. Tiny cans, but probably radioactive. I don't know. Picture of a newborn baby. I. Yes, please. And who else do we want? We want the newborn baby. Uh, we want the infant. That's it. We, we missed the infant out, didn't we? I think so. Like that one. And then we want that one. I. And then we want that one. I. And then we want that one. So that's this is a tired middle-aged man. No, that's a bold look. I just looked at that. I should know that, but my brain, my brain is rubbish, guys. It really is. Like I used to have people thinking that I was an expert at these games, but I'm really not because I will play it. I'll play this by next week. I've forgotten everything about it. Ah, oh, my brain. Like Code Veronica. Um, I could barely remember that game. I mean, I'll remember bits of it as we go through it. But, uh, yes. I don't actually know what version of Code Veronica to do. We've got the Dreamcast one, although that's out of the question right this second, because my Dreamcast is not very happy at all. I'm in the process of building a dream... <clears throat> Dreamcast, you could say. Uh, I want to get the GD-ROM replace with a SD card and get those for about 60 to 70 quid for those boards. Uh, I want to get the Dream PSU, which is a replacement power supply for it because my power supply on mine has died. Um, and there is a replacement controller port thing that you can get for it as well because my controller port is not happy. So, <laughs> yes, I'm going to spend like £200 on, on souping up my Dreamcast at some point. And then there's the possible HDMI mod. And oh. I mean, I don't mind modding consoles, but I can't solder very well. So I don't really want to solder a HDMI mod. But I don't really want to daisy chain two converter boxes off my little desk either. So, oh. I don't know. So Dreamcast version, maybe not. Uh, unless everything's sorted by then. Which, who knows. Um, it is my birthday coming up. Ooh, it is my birthday coming up. Um, 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 um. So, yes. Maybe if I smile at the missus, she might help me get some of it. Uh, right, so we've got the small key, which we don't need right now. Got that, we've got that. Let's go. Right, we're going to do this in a bit of a pain in the ass way. Let's go outside to where the dogs are, where the furnace is. The reason we're stripping Chris off, not like that, dirty bastards. Uh, the reason we are stripping Chris off is because there's loads of herbs out there. And I want as fewer returns as possible. Uh, and I want all of those herbs that are out there. There's also a herb by the door, which isn't too bad, because we can go back and get that in a minute when we go get the shotgun. Uh, right. You know, when I started this Chris run, I was wondering if... Oh, no, we did pick that one up. See, what did I say, guys? My brain, honestly. This is me on a good day. 
ass. Run, run. Okay, herbs, herbs. There's the chemical. There's the chemical. Ah, oh, Chris, pick herbs like you've never picked in your life, lad. Pick, 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 pick. <sighs> we might actually have to eat one here. Don't want to waste bullets on these things, but I do want every single herb. I do want every single herb here. Leaving one behind is not an acceptable outcome. Come on, Chris. Why? Why? Oh, he's actually, he's quite a tank, you know. He's so slow at picking the herbs up. He's so slow. Chris, you've got to, you've got to work with me, buddy. You've got to work with me, bud. <sighs> Chemical. Okay. Oh, God. Right. One more. One more. One more. One more, one more. Good man, good man, good man. Right, let's just get out of here now. If we take some damage, that's okay. We have herbs. <sighs> Fuck me. Oh. God, if I didn't have anxiety before, I've got anxiety now. Caution, we're on. That's okay. We can get healed by Rebecca. Which is a bloody long trip, actually. But it might be worth it. Uh, yeah, let's go get healed by Rebecca. Uh, we're going to get the broken shotgun now. Mm. All of this is just to get well stocked. Now, what's the quickest and easiest way to get to Rebecca? I suppose it's all about the same, really, isn't it? Um, right, let's drop these off. Uh, okay, herbs, 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 herbs. Chemical, we could use, I mean, we're going to get a fuck ton more. Um, herbage, once we do that. Oh, oh, that's starting to feel a little bit better, guys. Starting to feel a little bit better. Let's have a look, see what we've got in stock. Alright, that's not bad, to be honest. And hell to the no, am I going to use any of this to heal when we don't need to? So, Starcrest, Mooncrest. Uh, let's reorganise this fucking mess. Right. Broken shotgun we want. Starcrest, Mooncrest. Is that all we've got so far? Combat knife shells. Right, so key items I guess can stay here. Sure, that works. Fine, whatever. Guns can go down here. Oh, we've got that which we can do soon-ish, I guess. Uh... Fine. Fine. Right, let's go back to see Rebecca. <clears throat> oh, I really want the shotgun, but not with this health, I don't. If we get really messed up by those zombies, we'll then have one more heal left with Rebecca. If we've got those heals, I'm going to use them. You better believe I'm going to use them. Uh, yeah, if we go up and around, because that way we can avoid the dogs in the corridor instead of having to run through them. I know they're not a huge threat, but they're a big enough threat that uh, I am going to avoid them if I can. Um, you know, there's no point in taking unnecessary risks in this game. Uh, okay, so I do want to try and have a stream tonight as well. I don't want to... I shouldn't set anything really just in case I can't. But um, I do need to get that going. And I do want to have a stream schedule just twice a week. Just twice a week. Two short streams. Which is all I'm going to be able to manage with work and uh, chronic migraine suffering partner. But... I do want to get back on it. And I think I am going to stream on YouTube as well. Just with how 
Twitch massively fucked me over. Okay. And I think I'm going to stream a games console that I've never streamed before. I think. And I think I'm going to stream a game series that I've never streamed before. And I'm wondering how hard I'm going to get slapped with a ban hammer. Not ban hammer, but content ID. Hmm. Right, anyway. Yep, YouTube has always been good to me, so. I think I'm going to stick with YouTube. Um, right, okay. Hey, Rebecca, could you give me some of that, like, sweet, sweet healing? Are you all right? Want me to yes, treat please, it? treat it. I don't know what you're going to treat, which it, but treat it, please. Thank you. Okay. Now we can use her again. That sounds terrible. Not use her, but we can make use of her skills. Um in a minute. I do like her outfit there though. I like the colour. What I always thought was quite funny as well with the stars uniforms is have you noticed they don't actually seem to wear a uniform um uniform? They all look weird and different. Which is strange, but <sighs> God. Which I always thought was a bit weird. They they kinda look like a ragtag bunch of mercenaries. Apart from the fact they've all got the stars emblem on them. Right, we can use a small key. Now, unlike some items, command. Really? Why? Have we already unlocked this one? Oh, right, shit, we have, haven't we? This isn't the one I want to unlock. My bad. There is one we can unlock, but ain't there. Right, let's go through here. I suppose we could have had the chemical on us. But let's go do one thing at a time. Should we get the chemical and do that? No, because we don't have enough spaces. I want to be completely empty. When I do that. Because even if we're completely empty, I don't think we can get everything in one run. But. We can. Get the shotgun. Uh, yeah, and I, I want, I want Rebecca there, because I'm envisioning us taking a lot of damage in the shotgun room. Because I remember there's three zombies. Or was there four? Fuck, I can't remember. On the back of the box, actually, which always weirded me out when I was younger. I don't think I was a kid at the time, but I was younger. No, it's not this box. Because this box actually has uh, a shot of Resident Evil 2 on the back. Which makes sense because it's got a demo of Resident Evil 2 in it. But on the box I had, um, it had a picture of Jill with some kind of oozy thing. And it mentions new weapons and stuff, which to my knowledge aren't in the game. Because I never found a, a oozy. Um, you can't use it here. We can use it here. There we go. See? We can use it here. And shotgun shells is our reward, which is actually quite a nice reward. Okay. Um, now, yeah, on, on the back of the box that I had for Resident Evil 1, it had um, a picture of three zombies in the shotgun room. And that confused me for ages because I was like, because I didn't have the director's cut back then. Uh, so I was always like, but there is no zombies ever in that room. So I was quite confused because it's only the director's cut that has a ranged mode. I believe I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Okay, let's go get the shotgun. Also, this mansion is not as big as, like, I remember when I was playing this as a kid. And the mansion was gigantic. It was this massive, like, confusing maze. And it really isn't, you know? It's really quite small. But then, I suppose it's like anything, you know, when you get a new job somewhere. I remember when I went to my original school, uh, secondary school. And 
I remember thinking, how the fuck am I going to learn this place? It's massive. It's huge. But then, you know, you've been there a couple of weeks. You know it inside out. Okay. Ah, uh, zombies. Your move, zombies. Can we swing past this one? We can't. That's fine. I don't mind taking a bite or two, because like I said, we, we can... We can sort that out. Yes, we'll take the shotgun. Oh, sweet, sweet justice. You can't use it here. Yes, we can. Don't tease me yet. You can't use it here. Why, why do you mean you can't use it here? Thank you. <sighs> right. All the time, the Zeds are marching towards... I didn't see him there. I thought he was around... Yeah, we are going to take damage here. And Okay, that's fine. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I knew that was going to be painful. How did we do that so well with Jill? Danger. Back in the danger zone. Okay, so we now have the shotgun. We can go back out. We'll go up. Oh, twat. <laughs> hey zombies, remember me! Who wants to finish me off? Take the last chunk of flesh. Oh, Chris, you're a dull lad. Should I be shouting at Chris or myself? I don't know anymore. Okay, um, now, let's go back up and around. Get healed by Rebecca for the last time. Um, we can... Do we want to switch up to the shotgun from here on out? I'm going to say probably not. It's too early. We do have a little bit of ammo left. Uh, on the way, we will check something. We will check and see if we got the bullets from the yawn room. Uh, not the yawn room. The uh, the room next to the yawn room. I thought we did, but Chris, uh, Chris is... a. Uh, was asking on the last video if we got it. I thought we did. Um, I thought there's only two pickups in that room. But I might have missed it. I have been scatterbrained recently. The last few few days. Last few weeks. Last few months. Fuck it. For the last 33 years I've been a bit of a scatterbrain. So you know. And as we're going past, we might as well check. And if there is a magazine there, happy fucking days. But I'm, I'm sure we got it. I'm sure we did. Um, right. Let's have a little little gander in here, shall we? Very nice doors as well, aren't they? Lovely. I wonder if they're proper oak. Uh, so that is it. Yeah, we, we definitely got that. The candle is lit. It certainly is, Chris. Ah, nothing gets past you. We can't search that. I always thought, you know, that there was like a handgun magazine here. On that top shelf. I always thought that. Really weird. And I fucking hate pushing that out of the way because I always, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we got it. Chris got them all. Let's get out of here. Now, in the interest of time, because I want to get this video rendered and uploaded so you guys have something to watch today. Because uh, I, I always feel like I'm a fucking failure if I miss my deadlines or I don't get a video up. I'm like, it weighs on me way more than it possibly should. Because I only do this as, as, as a bit of a hobby and a bit of fun. But I also love the fact that people are watching and enjoying these. Um, that actually cheers me up quite a lot on my really down days. Um, so I always feel really shitty and bad if I fuck up. And one thing that has been fucking up recently is the YouTube uploader. It is not scheduling my videos properly at all. Not at all. I, it's, hap it's been doing it for a couple of weeks. And it's not me. I promise because I double check that everything is uploaded and scheduled properly and I wake up sometimes and a video hasn't gone live and it's like set to private like, why 
Why, why is this set to private? <sighs> because I'm a very... Uh, I'm a night owl person. I am routinely up until 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. And I don't get out of bed till sometimes 12 o'clock uh, in, in, you know noon basically on my days off or obviously when i'm working i have to be up at four in the morning um but i'm a night owl you know people have always said that you're lazy blah 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 it's like I'm not lazy i bet i do get a similar amount of sleep to you i just sleep a different section of the day than you do so fuck off and stick that shit up your ass um but Are you right? no I am literally dying. But usually by the time I wake up, because I like my videos to go live, at 6 o'clock in the morning. I don't know why I pick 6 o'clock in the morning. That's just the time I, I pick. So by the time I wake up, it, it's like 6 hours late. Sometimes a bit l later than that. This is the last dose. Don't go doing reckless things anymore. Oh, we'll be doing plenty of reckless things. Uh, and we're back up to fine. Yeah. So, I mean, sometimes I won't go to sleep till five in the morning. And I'll be honest with you as well. I don't like it. It annoys the hell out of me sometimes. We want the chemical. Um, I wish I was one of these people that was up early in the morning and I could run around and get everything done and how sweet life would be. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm not. I'm really not. I have tried to reset my clock. I have been to the doctors about it. I have tried supplement pills and sleeping aids. It doesn't work. My body says, night is not for sleeping. Night is for procrastinating on the internet and watching YouTube videos and playing games. <sighs> Run. And no matter what I've done, I cannot reset that. Which is why I'm always so exhausted during my worst uh, work weeks because I cannot sleep. Anyway, let's actually start talking about the game, shall we? Can you tell that? Ooh, fuck, I forgot about him. Can you tell that I haven't recorded for a while and I've missed it because I'm waffling a load of bollocks that nobody gives a fuck about? Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. right, come here. Ooh, Chris has been getting his sleep though. Oh, Chris is well rested. Okay. Now, I didn't completely empty out my inventory here because there's no point. Because we have to make several trips to this anyway. Alright. So, there is the plant. Let's drop that in. And let's kill that fucker. You are dead. I did think that was really cheeky in uh, Resident Evil Remake, though, where there's that little switch you can push, and if you push it in the wrong direction, it kills your herbs. Oh, <laughs> oh, and, and you have a little cutscene where you can watch them wither and die as well. Oh, it's it's savage. Capcom, come on, Capcom. Right, let's mix up some herbs. Red herbs are very rare in this as well. And um, when I replayed Resident Evil 2, as in Resident Evil 2, the original game, uh, last year I played it um, off camera just for funsies. I was quite surprised at how rare red herbs were in that as well. Red herbs are not common. Green herbs are. Green herbs are damn near bloody everywhere. But red herbs? Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Uh-uh. This ain't it, Chief. And there's also... I was surprised when going back through this with Jill how much of an abundance of uh, blue herbs there are. There is way more blue herbs in this game. It's crazy. Okay. And I also apologize about all the controller sounds that you can hear on this microphone. Um, there's not... A lot I could really do about that unless I put my hands under the desk, which is really awkward. But hey, at least you know it's not fake gameplay, right? <sighs> oh, that's a can of worms. Shouldn't say that on YouTube. Fake, fake. 
Um, right, okay. It's not really you playing the game. <laughs> Why would anybody do that? I know people do do that because actually that's something me and Jimmy have spoke about. He's been on the very wrong side of that before. Ooh. Ooh. You little cheeky son of a bitch. You got a little bite on me, you bastard. Um, yeah, Jimmy, sadly, was on the very wrong side of that. Uh, someone stealing his Let's Plays on his old channel and uploading them, pretending them, pretending to be him. Um, and YouTube doesn't really do a lot about that, if that happens. But I don't understand why someone would do that. Like, just play the game yourself. I mean, I... It's not even plagiarism, is it? It's just stealing your content. Which, you know... I... Oh, I don't... I, humans, man. Seriously, fucking humans, honestly. Not all humans. Some humans are great. Most humans are great, really. But every... One in a hundred is a cunt. Just put on this planet to make everyone else's life a misery. <sighs> I don't understand that. Right. But I do remember a time when that was really common on YouTube. Is there just one herb left here? Oh, maybe we could have got all that in one run, actually. Maybe. Yeah, the p people just sit here and just rip off other people. I mean, technically... Uh, there's some commentary there with Let's Playing. Technically, you're just sitting there and playing uh, another company's game. Blah, 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 blah. It's not really the same thing, is it? I, I don't know. That's a bit of a grey area, I suppose. I'm definitely in the camp that if... If you're watching a game... It's not the same yeah okay we, we can't do any of this yet we haven't done any of this yet it's not the same as playing it yourself it really isn't and i honestly think that let's playing is good for the gaming community i genuinely believe that it gets people into older games and even the newer games it builds hype for them and uh, it's so convenient these days to just fire up a let's play to see if you're interested in a game or see if it looks like something you would enjoy whether it's a new game or an old game, you know. Um, and it keeps old games and old series alive as well. Like, Let's Playing, as much as they've tried to stamp it out and squash it out, um, has actually become a big deal. And one of the best things to happen to gaming. Because I love playing games. Uh, I always have, obviously. Now, do we want to go fight Yawn? I think it's time. Um, I love playing games, but I also love watching games. I've always enjoyed watching games. Um, some certain series, like Minecraft, I would never play it because I can't get into it. I've tried, but I could watch that fucking game for hours and hours and hours. Um, games like Harvest Moon, uh, which I love. I love Harvest Moon. And uh, Animal Crossing. Um, I'd like to play them, but I don't have the time to get into a game like that. But I love watching people play them. I love it. Oh, we can't. We haven't got the envelope. We haven't got the right key to do yawn yet. No, we need to go do the bit. Do the bit with Rebecca now. And when I first discovered Let's Playings, I don't know, back in two thousand and eight or two thousand and seven. Really should have started then, really. Um, but it wasn't easy to get into it back then. You had to have all the specialist equipment. And recording consoles was like a no-no, really. Um, I literally stopped watching every... Like, I didn't watch anything else. Didn't watch films, didn't watch TV series, didn't watch nothing. For like two or three years, all I did was watch Let's Plays. And to a point... I mean, I've got Disney+, Plus, I've got Netflix, I've got Amazon, I've got, got everything. But all I really watch, even now, is Let's Plays. Apart from for the last week. But, you know. Anyway. 
What a load of waffled bullshit. Let's... So we're going to want that for the next one. We are going to want to put this back. Uh, hmm. And we're going to go save the game. Everyone looks at you weird. Like, will you, you watch some guy play a game? Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's fun. <laughs> I don't know. I wish there was an easy answer to that. I don't know. I think it takes you back to being a child as well, a little bit, you know. Where you're just... Where's my ink ribbons? Where you're just chilling in the, in a room with your mates, just playing games. I think that's what it brings down to. People are, oh, it's stupid. Is it? I don't think it is. I, I don't think it is at all. Some of the best days of my life were sitting uh, in my mate's house playing his N64. Uh, and he would come over to mine and play my PlayStation. Some of the best memories ever. And I think, honestly, Let's Playing does bring that back a little bit. And if that's a bad thing, or if that's wrong, I don't want to be right. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.